Good evening, welcome to Re-Repair. Um, so today I'm doing a very quick battery replacement on a Samsung Galaxy Tab. Uh, this one is an SMT 560 or Samsung Galaxy Tab E. Um, it's got battery problems, I have worked on it before. Uh, I'm just going to do a very quick battery replacement on it. I've gone to my favourite place in the world, which I always seem to buy from, uh, which is Replace Base. So I've got one of their batteries. Uh, they come with a, a really good warranty on them, so I thoroughly recommend trying to use them if you need a battery for anyone. This isn't a paid subscription, I just really like them as a business, I use them a lot. Um, so that battery was about, I think it was about 15, 20 pounds. It wasn't particularly expensive. So we will get this repair done. So first thing we're gonna do, we need to get this back case off. Um, there is a bead of adhesive that runs around the edge of the screen, so just be aware of that. I have opened this up a couple of times before, so I know this isn't gonna take me very long to say the least. Um, it is quite a fiddly one to do, so just be really careful when you're lifting it because you will damage the screen if you're not. Um, I obviously take no responsibility if you do damage your screen as a result of trying to repair this. Also be careful along the bottom edge because there is a battery down, a battery down there, a charge port down there. Um, so you don't wanna go breaking that as a result of trying to do this repair. So try to go along one edge first and then go from there. Your board is at the top here, so just be careful when you're up in that area. Um, normally once you start on doing it, it will come quite easily. It's like that, now you can see that, there you go. Okay, our battery's already disconnected, so that's good. So normally your first step I would say is remove this nice little strip of tape here and disconnect your battery, but being as that's already been done, we don't have to do it. Um, it would normally be locked in. I'll show you just how it would be. So it would normally be locked in like that. Um, so we're just gonna pull the tab up and lift this out. If it wants to come, there we go, just like that. And then we're gonna just remove this connector here as well, so it doesn't get in our way. So we'll just grab something just to get our little bit of tape lifted up, just like that. Stick that to the tripod so don't use it. And then we're gonna just lift this locking connector up here. And we'll just pull that forward like that. So that's now detached. I think actually, do you know what? I'm gonna do the other end as well, just so it's not in the way. Lift our little locking connector up and pull that ribbon cable out. So just so you're aware, there's a little P on the side, it should be up. And then what we're gonna do, there is a pull tab on this. I'm not sure how good they are because I've not actually done one of these before, but we will just get that off of there. And, we'll lift it up. and I'm hoping it's gonna come nice and easy. Probably won't know my luck. Oh, there you go, I actually did. So that's that all lifted out. A little bit of adhesive on either side um, and at the top and the bottom that just holds it in. Um, I'm gonna reuse the same adhesive because it will be more than man enough just to hold our new battery in place. So that is our battery completely disconnected. I'll pop that to one side. We'll grab our new battery from Replace Base and it should just drop straight in, just like that. There we go. We'll grab our barcode information. We'll pop that back on there as well. So that's our new battery back in, our barcode information back in, and then we will grab this little ribbon connector we disconnected earlier. Obviously we'll do that first because we don't want to do that after we reconnect the battery because we could potentially cause problems. So let's just get that in there. Just make sure that lines all the way up. Not loose. I'm not 100% happy with that connection, so let's just quickly lift that up again and just give it one more push. There you go, perfect. Now let's do this end. So again, if you can, the little dots need to be lined up with the gold line on the motherboard. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but hopefully you can. There we are. So the little dots on the ribbon lined up with this gold line with the number four next to it. So that's that. So our ribbon back in, and then we'll lift our battery connection up. We'll just slot this back in there, lock it down. So that's that done. 
And there is a bit of tape as well that covers all of this lovely stuff up. So we'll just pop that back over there just so we're complete. And then we'll grab our two little bits of tape off these. And we'll just pop those back over there as well. Just so we've done the whole repair fully from start to finish. And that is as quick as that. That is the battery replacement um, done on this tablet. There's not a lot more. You've seen me already do a, um, a screen replace on this. Um, again, it's, it's a very straightforward process. There's also a factory reset video I've done as well. So if you get stuck in a state where your, um, your tablet is locked or pin protector, we forgot the pin, it'll walk you through that too. So uh, back, back on. So just pay attention to where your charge port is. Um, so at the top here and pay attention to where your buttons are as well so that it's not in your way. So we're going to quickly grab this out of the way and we're just going to push down. You're going to work your way all the way around. Just as an extra thought, actually, one thing I didn't mention, if you've got an SD card in your device, please remove it first before doing the repair because otherwise you could snap it. So that's that. Let's just turn it on, make sure it works. And there we go. So that is that. So we've done a complete battery replacement on this now. Still got our old battery here. So this one will go out for the recycling because it, it's not really a very good idea to put it into the bin because um, when it's compressed in the bin truck, it will potentially explode, uh, which is all kinds of bad. Um, so that is it. We are all done. Um, so hopefully you found that useful. I've walked you through a very quick guide on how to do a replacement battery on the Samsung Galaxy Tab E um, SMT560. If you found it useful, please leave us a comment, drop us a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, as I say, we're on the verge of a thousand subscribers, so any extra subs you can give me will really help. Um, I'd love to get to that thousand subscriber count before the end of the year, uh, but bear in mind we're in nearly the end of September now. Um, how likely that is looking, I don't know, but we will try. Um, anyway, as I say, if you found it useful, um, hopefully you'll carry on watching us and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.